been staring at the star. Uh, um. What's good, YouTube? Nathan Xavier. I know y'all been loving the hair contest, so we back with another hair tutorial. Feel like feel like y'all should know what I'm about to do. I haven't done it yet. So we're gonna be doing some box braids. It's really just like a three-man weave. You get three strands, one over that side, and then pull them. The way I do my box braids, middle part all the way down, middle part all the way down. And I think I have like eight on each side so it's like 16 braids i like to do the parts of my braids pretty chunky so when i do braids i just wear something over it like i don't really be showing my head my hair because it's like i'd be wearing something over it like whether it's a hat whether it's a do-rag whether it's one of them head wraps i'd be wearing it's something over my head and it's the braids hanging i'm gonna show y'all what i use what y'all may need You want to start by sectioning your hair like i said before i do my middle parts all the way down so i'm just going to make my hair into four big sections and then when i do my braids i'll make smaller sections of those sections that i have already made if you want to have your braids out make sure that you do your parts like nice and clean take your time on them so that they don't look too messy you want to go in with your water just making sure your hair is damp Next, go in with some leave-in conditioner and do the same thing, but this time you also want to detangle your hair so that there's no knots before braiding. Now you just make your sections however big you want your sections to be. Put some gel toward the root so that you pick up all the little flyaway hairs and the stray hairs and they get into that section. Tie a rubber band around the root of my braids and then pull on it to make it look more tight. I don't want to braid in front of my face. I want it to go to the side because I do wear like headwear with it. So I don't want it like in my face, like covering my eyes so I can't see. And the process of braiding, like I said earlier, the only thing I could really think of was like a three man weave. You have a left one, a middle one, and a right one. The left one is going to go toward the middle, and the middle swaps with the left one. You want to get the right side and move that over to the middle, but go over, while the one in the middle goes under toward the right. When you get to the ends, you wanna like finger coil it to make sure that the hair is like staying together. And then tie a rubber band around it a couple of times. When my braids just hang like this while I'm doing other braids, they tend to like bend up to get rid of that bend that they do. I put a hair clip on it just to weigh it down and that it keeps its position. You want to repeat this process to your entire head, however many parts you have, how many parts you want, just do that as many times as possible. So for this one section, I do three braids. So on the other side, that's like symmetrical to this section, I'm going to do three again.
put a couple more clips on it because it was kind of still bending with one clip. I put a second clip on it. That's how one side of my head looks so far with all the braids completed. Now you just repeat the same steps on the other side. It didn't take that long to learn how to braid. As long as you just keep practicing, you'll continue to get better. Definitely take your time. I mean, this is sped up, so it does look a lot faster. This took me around like an hour and a half to do. So next you want to go in with some mousse and as you can see like mousse wasn't coming out at first i haven't used mousse in a while after you put it on your head you just want to rub your fingers through it just trying to make sure you get all of your scalp and a little bit of the braids as well tie a durag over it after because we are going to be blow drying our scalp with it so that the mousse kind of just settles into your hair and lays down all the flyaway the other flyaway hairs and just makes your overall like parts look cleaner and sharper So I think I blow dried my hair for a good three to five minutes on medium heat. These are how I do my braids. They're pretty big, pretty chunky. You can make your parts however you want to make your parts. You can make them as big, as small as however you want them. I like them like this for me because my hair isn't like too thick. So it's like making larger parts would just look better for me. If you enjoyed this tutorial or if you learned something new, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. And if I did miss a tutorial on something I should do with my hair, let me know in the comments, you know what I mean? I usually do braids, twists, three strand coils, and shingling. I usually just rotate those around. All right, y'all. Uh, should I do it with my hand this time? I'll do it with a fucking easy slide. I'm gonna be out until next time. I, why do I just, why do I do that? Why do I do that type of stuff with my life? I'm hungry, this shit. When this is finished, bro. <sighs> <sighs>